Hey, Groundy, thanks for uh, jumping on this call, man. You've had like almost 200 and something leads and you said about five listings so far. So it's going pretty yep. well. Yep. Mate, so when you get a lead uh, coming into your either your inbox, uh, email inbox or your Facebook page, um, what yes. are the processes you take once that lead comes in? Yeah, so I, I guess when you say listings as well, I mean, that's directly straight from the lead, whereas it's hard to differentiate sometimes, um, you know, where that sort of business comes from, because sometimes people I've already worked with will, that will um, engage in the lead, and, and then sometimes they engage the lead and we build a relationship for a long time afterwards. Uh, but basically the, the process is uh, capture the lead, follow up with a call, capture and categorise where they're at. Um, so from, you know, from a lead, we may have, yeah, I know you're, you're talking to someone that had an exceptionally high conversion rate to appraisal. We might be more like 15 to 20% that we can get to a face-to-face -face appraisal um, and categorise them in, into hot, warm, cold. And then they then enter our database at that sort of a level. Um, and from everything, everyone that's hot and warm, we then re you know, understand what the best path of action for them is. So some people may be looking to buy before they move. Some people might have a longer time frame. And based on that, det determines how we look after them from there. So if they're just a cold, appra cold appraisal, not looking at um, you know selling anytime soon, they'll get you know regular monthly market updates from us. But we're not going to be in their area all the time. Um, if they're looking at property to move to, we then treat them as a buyer, um, and that's a brilliant way to stay in contact with them um, and control that relationship um, and everywhere in between. So. Basically, it's it's understanding using the lead to get the contact detail, and at that point, it's up to us to determine what's the best way to service those people. Um, and if we serve them well, if we get the relationship and we get a higher likelihood of getting the listing. Uh, yeah. So that's kind of how we think about it. So, so you get the lead. Are you, are you so this is through the phone phone call? Is that where you're gathering this information and determining whether they whether they are you know one, two, or three? Where, how yeah. are you determining whether where they sit? Yeah, correct. So, um, yeah, so so basically when we when we get the lead in the first instance, there's sometimes a little bit of email dialogue or phone call. Um, as you've seen, we'll, we'll send a bit of a video update as well. And through that process, we get an idea, but everyone gets a phone call just to see how they got on with it. Um, and we have a good discussion around that. And what often we'll find out through that dialogue is if, if they actually are thinking a little bit more seriously about where they are in terms of coming to market, they will want a more accurate update and a, more of a discussion around what that, the market's doing at the moment. Yeah. Um, and, and through that dialogue, you know, over the course of getting the lead, the phone call, the, you know, going to see them face to face is how we start learning about um, you know, where they're at in the sale process. Yeah, good, got you. And so what is your like nurture process look like in terms of someone who isn't looking to sell in the in the near future. Yep. Yeah, so, so um, like a cold lead. Relatively cold lead, yeah. Yeah, relatively cold lead. Uh, we, we've got like a little, uh, I guess, a, a different categories, first class, second class, third class. Third class is, is pretty much, you know, people that are, you know, just want information and then for us to leave them alone they get market updates um, and information we're not really on the phone to them too much um you know maybe maybe once every now and then just see if they want another update yeah. um but so not in the area about coming to market all the time it's more about putting content out there that they will find useful and building a relationship for when they are, they are ready to come to market yeah, yeah. got you got you oh no awesome awesome have you got um obviously you've got these systems in place and um, have you got a large team to support you? How do you manage all these list leads coming in? Are you doing it yourself? Is someone else doing it? How are you managing that? A bit of both. So I've got Harry on my team, so he's my associate. So he helps handle the overflow, does a lot of the buyer work. And so if I'm in a situation where we're, you know, a bit, um, you know the schedule is pretty chocker, then Harry can handle that lead and then I'll then follow on. So we work quite close together. He is a real sweeper for me, so without him, you know, I'll probably be a bit, bit of a miss. Um, yeah. But just the you know, two of us on the ground. Awesome, yeah. awesome. Hey, thanks, Granny. Appreciate your, um, you know, your feedback and your learning a little bit more about the systems you have in place. I think people will find that great value. Yeah, no worries. Cheers, mate. Happy to talk.